Hello guys, welcome to Hopping Fun. I'm Gio, back again to another little bit of review and a show up of something that it's going to have many of you and for me that it's going to be like an upgrade for my channel. It is something that, well, every kind of hobby follower from the Gunplus and the Warhammer, everything, like from the miniature worlds, dioramas, this and that, customizations, weathering, everything like that has in his like um, tools of work. One of them that I consider myself is that in the place that I'm living right now, I cannot be able to buy one of the airbrush system. Yes, it's an airbrush. So I couldn't buy because the colors, you actually need to have a ventilated area and that area in my room is ventilated but the issue is that my as I live with my parents and everything they can't they can uh, support uh, they can hold the smell of the of the chemicals so basically when I'm used lacquer or other things I have a mask and I can use it but this the smell the stench of the chemicals uh, like uh, fly through the air and they go straight to my family to my parents in the bedroom and you know they get angry and everything and you know you always need to focus in one of these important rules and that is always your families your friends and even the uh, the ones that you love and are, and are close to you even when you're telling that they are your family one of them it's going to be in a really bad state and everything that you need to consider is that always take care of their health you are the future for them when you're doing this kind of hobby you always need to take care of your health their health and everyone around you so let's go today and show you the airbrush system that i bought it's one of the common like airbrush system that you can use in giving you one of the positive things in, in this is that you can use this kind of airbrush system because it's basically using markers and it's made from Mr. Hobby right here in the back side it says and basically it's one of the systems that you can actually uh, acquire in all the Gundam bases or, or hobby stores to this day if you're living in a room that or with your family or someone that has health issues and everything you should consider buying this airbrush system because it's gonna be a good upgrade to your daily life of making gun plus and other things like customizations and everything for me i have a lot of gun markers laying out there and i said uh i think at first that i wanted to make a gun plus painter with that and yes i did it it was the new gundam i painted with only gundam markers and it came out quite pretty well but the issue was when i was when i was like painting them with the brush i didn't like how the brush ended up because i needed to apply uh, ethanol and everything uh, to clean the brushes and that's when they mess up some of the brushes bristles and well it take it, it took a lot of the important things that are from the bris uh, the brushes the bristle things and everything and you need to consider that those parts are mostly in mostly really really important because when you actually messed up the the brushes tips or the bristles you're gonna end up with a bad painting line so another thing that i'm gonna be showing you here as well is that the place that i bought i bought the airbrush system actually they send me gifts because i'm actually one of the common uh, buyers from that place and i never changed my mind there and if you want one of yours in this, I can, I'm gonna be leaving you some <clears throat> some links down below. If you are a foreigner, like for example, another country, like uh, in, for example, uh, Indonesia, Malaysia, Europe, apart from Europe or your Russia, um, American, you can go ahead and link and click the link uh, down below. To buy one of your airbrush systems and if you are commonly in asia and you are close in my countryside you can go i'm gonna be leaving you a friendship uh, link to the korea's like uh, hobby stores so you can buy it online so first things first let's go ahead and unpack this thing oh also they sent me <clears throat> another gift as well 
This is like a marker, but um, it's an empty marker. As you can see here in my in the Korean letters, it says Nemul. It's basically like that. It's the uh, meaning of the uh, of the word that is basically you know it's basically a gift. And let's open it up. Because I have one thing, if I can use this product good as well, I'm gonna be actually buying. Uh, I'm gonna be buying like, uh, for example, a varnish, and I'm gonna be uh, putting the varnish inside this mark, and I'm gonna be using this in there. Also, basically, it has a, a breaker and and it has a mixer. The thing is that how do you put the? Oh, you twist this end and then. Oh, so that's how it is. Oh. So I need to take this part off. I think it's taking this part off. Uh huh. I think you take this part off, and that's how you start like uh, applying the the material. The adapter for the for how much the amount of pressure air would come out from the from the from the can itself. There we go. And lastly, yeah, they they sell they send you as well some of these. I'm gonna be leaving a little bit. I'm gonna be calling out so you can see the names of every kind of parts. And also they send you a manual, a little manual. That's awesome. I'm gonna be leaving it there a little while so you can appreciate all of them and I'm gonna be you putting the names afterwards, you will go enjoy and everything. Now 
one of the things that you should consider about when you're using a uh, pressure air you sh you always shouldn't be buying these little cans there are other products like for example this is like a, a air compressor that's dust blower and it's the same like a uh, chemical thing that they have from this uh, compressed air they share the same things and everything you just for example when this uh, the pressure of this air runs out you just need to shake it shake it and then it comes out again and well they all are the same but i recommend that you should but if you're gonna be using an airbrush marker system as a first tool of airbrushing as a basic one I should recommend that you should buy a, a big can of, of air compressor. A dust blower like this, you can either buy it cheaper instead of this one that is a little expensive from a point of view. Like, um, I wouldn't say that with this one I can enjoy having a lot of times of using it, but because it's not the same amount of air compressor like uh, like in this one this one is bigger and this has more air compressor than this little fella here and somehow when they actually manufacture one of these they actually don't make it full they actually make it half full or like uh, less full like 25% it happened to some of the air compressor system that I needed to return uh, from the mall center that I bought them and everything so <laughs> First things first, let's see the user guide. It's a friendly guide. <laughs> Here we have the, oh, it's basically like a, it looks like a Gumpla manual. Like you can build a Gumpla like this and wow. Um, okay, it's pretty start positions, this and there. So basically, yeah, the same thing as the other ones. You should be always need to take care about that and well, Always, always, and don't forget that, uh, yeah, the air hose or the valve, you always need to get uh, to take care of these things because don't forget if they break, if they like, uh, for example, this pipeline like bends, you're actually messed up because that's what one of the biggest mistakes. Oh, if you have like something, uh, an obstacle between them and everything, then. Mm, that's one thing good because it's my first time using this kind of stuff it's going to be awesome for my first, first ever time mask glove mr. paint dish I understand folding prevention all newspaper and yeah How about painting rainy days high humidity days and windy days mm-hmm mm-hmm I just screw, remove the edge and screw from there, valve, air valve, connect it and everything and it's like that. Huh. Reasonable, reasonable. Well. Oh, we read that thing and everything the manual we are ready to go i'm just gonna be changing of camera so we hope that you don't pause or just skip the video or just like if you are not interested in this video don't listen and don't want to listen it don't do that always always you need to take care uh, you need to always look out for people who make this so also what I why did I why did I buy this? Because there is something upcoming that I'm gonna be using this airbrush system and it's going to be awesome for me and also for you because I'm gonna be like using the 100 percent of this product uh, product like uh, usefulness and I'm gonna be going beyond of that. So many of you will be <laughs> angry or many of you will be happy to say to, to say that I actually enjoy doing this and everything. And let me tell you. Whatever I do, whatever I paint, whatever I, I, I make, I love it, how it looks like. And sometimes when I do mistakes, those mistakes are commonly, commonly possible to fix. But sometimes they're not. So you need to watch over your mistakes. And always do not forget that those mistakes, you cannot repeat them again. 
So let's go ahead and switch cameras. In the meantime, I'm gonna be setting up all of this and I'm gonna be making a show up of how you are gonna be using your paints and everything. Now that I arranged everything, I'm gonna be using the markers with these three spoons. These are plastic spoons, so I'm gonna be giving a different style of painting. One with the Gundam marker itself, one without the Gundam marker, and with the with the uh, airbrush system tip that comes with the adapter. And the third one is the one that they give me from the. It's a pre-made from them, and wanna try one of those as well. So first things first, we're gonna be using the airbrush system can from the box itself, this one. What you're gonna be needing is just shake it, keep shaking it, shake it like 10 seconds. Let's count. Now let's try one of the things. Also, I'm using this one in the box because I got this one that I I'll pop up the lid and I don't think this one will work. I'm gonna give it a try, guys. So I'm not God either. So I hope that this works as well. First things first, when you're going to connect the Gundam markers, if you're using the actual tip of the Gundam marker, what you're gonna be needing to use is these things first. So I'm gonna make a zoom and focus this part. There we go. And then you're gonna be actually putting this marker inside. And what you wanna end up is with the marker itself, not at this, like this. And also the nozzle of the marker needs to be aiming like this. Vertical side. Okay, so let's make first things. Let's make first things first. Let's make the, the paint roll. Pop this big fella here. Always watch the nozzle. And then let's gonna make a close up. Grabbing my spoon and let's give it a try. Oh, wasn't all the way down. Hey, what the hell? Did it dry? Huh.
gonna be fixing it down. Oh, that's that's covered. I'm sorry at the beginning because maybe because this paint just dried up long ago. Okay, that's one. Let's leave it right there. Let's go with the second one that it's going to be the fella right here. We're gonna be using the one with the box itself. That is the adapter. Just giving some tip leads. There we go. Remember to shake, shake it, shake your paints. I'm gonna take the remains off. Just tap the lid on there. The same as the others. Okay, let's see the test. Second spoon going in with the yellow. I cannot say that's not a good coverage of the yellow. Also, because this switch thing. Uh, huh. That's bad quality actually from the box. It's a Also, basically, you don't need to aim to the tip. You need to aim all the way to the to the root of the. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so dumb. I'm telling you, that's good, good coverage from the from the adapter of the box cell. That's a good one. But still, remember that all paint needs to be shaken before you do it. And lastly, we're gonna be using the one that I came out with the with the uh, the one as a gift i'm gonna be first shaking it and then making some taps so it can break the the protector of the of the ink so the ink can flow through there we go it's coming now i think it needs to be more more shaking Hats together. I need to see that the ink flows. If it doesn't flow through, through then there is a problem with the uh, adapter itself. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's it. Well, let's uh, link it together. Always aim to the bottom. Aim, aim to the button, not too much like this and just give it a test oh wow oh wow <laughs> okay let's give it a try red one with the adapter that they made from the uh, from the online store oh wow Oh, wow. And it looks gorgeous. Let me tell you, it looks gorgeous. All right, now, giving a, uh, a preliminary overview of everything, let's go and compare the black one with the marker itself. At the beginning, I didn't know how to use it, so it was my first time, but I realized the end of product was very good. 
And as you can see, there are some like particles left and I understand that was a mistake at the beginning. The second one, wow, at least oh, some of the red came from here too. Oh, but the yellow to have a good coverage and that was a good thing too. I'm pretty happy. And the last one is with the adapter that they make from the from the adapter from the hobby store itself. So here are the three comparisons. Original, box itself, adapter, and custom made adapter from the from the store. Now one last thing remains is that ah, if this works with the uh, so-called um, Okay, it works. <laughs> so my overall review, I think I'm gonna give uh, a little uh, view of how to use this one. In the meantime, guys, I hope that everyone enjoyed and well, see you in my next upcoming video that I'm gonna be doing some custom paint job with this airbrush system. On my overall review and actually how much points I will give from the one to 10, this has a uh, 8.5 over 10. It has so many things, but it lacks some other things that they have the actuation from the original airbrush system. I know it's a cheaper one, but this one works with even basic, like um, beginners friendly airbrush system. And this one will help you a lot if you're a beginner, because this will give you more talent beyond your expectations. After you learn how to use and master it, you can move aside and go forward to use airbrush system by yourself don't forget for a ventilated area go ahead and buy uh, still buy this airbrush system so you can start your airbrush system and everything but if you're not having a ventilator area, you should always consider about your health of your family always then always use this kind of airbrush it's friendly eco-friendly and it's good for your health thank you and goodbye